guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Hungry Dinos with me Oni and Peter behind the camera. We are super excited because today we are here at Grassland. This is a new venue, a playground for foodies. There are lots of food to choose from, there are lots of drinks to choose from, and also entertainment. And really, this place is a heaven for foodie. We are gonna check out some of the best food they have to offer today. And yeah, let's go check out with us. This place looks absolutely epic, guys. This is one of the biggest place, one of the biggest uh, like food festival here, maybe in Melbourne. There are a lot of food options here, and the smell is absolutely amazing. You've got like different smell from char, fried, you know, different cuisine. It smells absolutely amazing. It truly is heaven for foodie. And what I've got here right now is the Argentinian food. This is from El Gaucho Argentinian. So this is the asado completo. We've got the chips for sure, and a sausage, flank steak, and chimichurri, and yeah, a lot of different like um, charcoal grill meat. And also, Oni bought this um, grill rice, nasi bakar in Indonesia. So I'm gonna try this one first. Oh, smells absolutely incredible. Look at these guys. Ooh. Wow guys, that flank steak is absolutely flavorsome. It's like full of flavor. Probably not the most uh, softest or tender meat, but it's not the toughest as well. But the flavor is just full, full of flavor. Really love the smell from the char itself. Oh, amazing. I'm gonna try the sausage now. Oh, I've been dying to try this sausage as well. That's the sausage from Choripan, right? Yeah. If you buy Choripan, you get a bread roll, oh. right? Mm. So good. So good. Mm. Oh. It's really flavorsome. It is so, so good. This is the last piece that I'm gonna try from this asado, which is the beef ribs. Looks super tender and the color looks really amazing. Oh, I can't wait to try. All right. It's definitely more tender than the flank steak, but in terms of flavor, they are almost the same. It's really flavorsome. I really like it. It's a bit expensive, guys. This is like $22 for the asado completo. And the surface is a bit slow as well, but it is also good like, Wow, full of flavor, amazing. Okay guys, it's time for me to try this nasi bakar. This is uh, the only, I think the only Indonesian stall here at this venue at all. It's called Pondok Nasi Bakar. They originated from Geelong. It's quite far away from Melbourne. And I'm so glad I, I found them here. And yeah, can't wait to try this grilled rice uh, translate to nasi bakar in Indonesia. And I got this nasi bakar with fried chicken, with kremes. Kremes is like the crispy Maybe it's really tasty. I can't wait to try this. Whoa. Gonna try the rice first. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's very aromatic, guys. It's almost like nasi uduk. Oh, nasi lemak maybe uh, in Malaysia. Very flavorful rice. Oh, and the banana leaf makes it like very wonderful fragrance comes out from the rice. Wow. I'm gonna try the fried chicken now. Mm. So good, Peter. Wow, that fried chicken, wow, it's really tasty. Super tender, very flavorful. It's, wow, this is a true Indonesian food. This thing is true Indonesian food. And it, it's not complete without sambal. Look at this. They also color the tofu. We never find like yellow tofu, right, in here, unless you make it like yellow yourself with turmeric. Oh, amazing, amazing. Let's try this with sambal. A little bit of salad. 
as well. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Sambal is also very, very tasty. Wow. Mmm. Perfect, perfect Indonesian food. Mmm. Okay guys, we found a good spot here, you know, overlooking the west gate behind me. Oh, the view is super beautiful and because I'm so thirsty right now, I'm trying this bubble tea, this mango bubble tea from BBLT. Let's have a try. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is peach, right? Not mango, sorry, yeah. This is peach bubble tea. Super refreshing, they got the jelly as well as the popping boba. This one is peach tea but they have also other flavors like mango, passion fruit, taro milk tea as well and yeah make sure you stop by this this stall because it's you know the size is quite good right? <laughs> it's quite big and yeah good if you are thirsty. Mm. Guys, the next item we're gonna try is the chicken sandal from Baodan and also Katsu King. This is one of the better looking sandal here in Melbourne. Look at that. Wow, like these thick pieces of chicken, like really juicy. It looks really juicy. If you watch our um, review of um, Shokupan recently, uh, the Lebajo milk bar, um, it's really hard to find like a good looking and also tasty sandal here in Melbourne, but hopefully this one is good and tasty. Oh, I don't know, it's really nice. Like, you can see almost all the layer, the, the bread itself, the chicken, um, the cabbage, the purple cabbage, and a, a little bit of salad, I think. Mm. Oh, guys, that thick piece of chicken is really it's really tender, juicy, and crispy at the same time. I really like it. It's quite different than the sando, the last sando that we try at Lebajo, because that one is like um, the hero almost is like the bread itself, but this one is the thick centerpiece of this chicken here. It's really moist, it's really juicy, and the sauces is awesome as well. Wow. <laughs> I really like it actually. We had uh, barbecue meat as well, beef, uh, grilled beef. But right now I'm gonna try something different. This is the vegan burger from the Fish Spot stall. And yeah, this is the ultimate vegan <laughs> beef burger. Looks absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at this. I can't wait to try. Mm. Wow, the onion straight away. Wow. Look at this onion, caramelized onion, guys. Your favorite? My favorite. Any meat, especially beef with caramelized onion, well, much made in heaven. The patty, there's a, there's a like a bite to it. Like it's not, I can, it's not like a real meat. But uh, I reckon, really good alternative to, you know, the, the real deal, <laughs> the real thing. And you know, the, the hero of home is the caramelized onion. Wow, so prominent. And I really love the sauce as well, the burger sauce here, the mayo, look at the, the color, wow, really yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright guys, I think this is our last savory food from Graceland. Honestly, there are so many options and we just so confused which one to try. Oh, some of this stall we have tried before in like food festival. This one here right here is the African barbecue. It's called, it's a from stall called Tasty Suya. The wait time is a bit long. I think they just like really busy at the moment. And yeah, this is the beef options. They also have the chicken and also the platter. This one is $15, it looks really amazing and you can Add your own like chili sauces, hot sauces. I've been wanting to try this African barbecue since we arrived at Graceland earlier. Okay, let's try. Uh, I'll get a small piece first. Mmm, mmm. It's not super tender. It's not 
super soft, but at the same time, it's not the toughest as well. It's just like have a nice bite, you know, a lot nice flavor, nice char as well. I really like this um, beef flavor, guys. And you can also add your own like um, seasoning here, the hot sauce as well. Uh, maybe we try with a little bit of so hot sauce. Uh, hot sauce, not soy sauce. Oh. Wow, that really spicy. <laughs> Gotta be careful guys, it's really spicy. But I really like the beef. It has like nice flavor. Not too salty like the Argentinian uh, barbecue one. Really nice texture of the beef. Really good, must try guys. with boba okay guys we are at the sweet street corner the whole section here is all dedicated for uh, sweet food <laughs> for sweet lovers like us and the first stall that I knew I immediately knew that I have to get it is this Japanese souffle stall <gasps> and I'm getting this boba souffle <laughs> I haven't really looked around I think there's they have a like donut ice cream, cheese stick, a cheesecake in a stick, also really unique. Maybe after this, after finishing this, we're gonna look around again. But first thing first, souffle. <laughs> I switched the seat because it's too bright. Oh, so soft. I can tell already. That is good. Really soft souffle. Wow. Oh, it's like cloud, cloud of souffle. The boba is not that bad. It's really, really chewy. I can't fault. I think this is really good. <laughs> really good ending. You can also order the original one. Comes with a strawberry and whipped cream. Because the boba one looks really, you know, inviting. That's why I ordered this. <laughs> Try the boba if you love boba like me. <laughs> what did you get? Oh, this is called chim nuts. As in like chimney. Yeah, I think this is like a spiral pastry. I think I ordered the wrong one because yeah. I want the one with the ice cream. With the ice cream! <laughs> but this one is also recommended by the owner. I reckon this one is gonna be good. Um, we have like combinations of white and milk chocolate and a little bit of crumb as well. Wow, the chocolate is already hardened. This one is really made for the sweet tooth. It's chocolatey, it's sweet. In terms of the pastry, they make it like right there like you can see how they make it and bake it and it's really interesting and this is so fresh the pastry is really good as well it's fluffy you know wow amazing this is cheese stick cheesecake in a stick honestly i'm when i'm looking at the amount of chocolate and nutella they put oh my god i'm gonna be sugar high <laughs> huh? oh. Lucky it's got the strawberry to cut through the sweetness. Mm. Yeah, cheesecake looks definitely looks good. Mm, frozen cheesecake is good. Mm. If you are a chocolate lover, definitely get like this kind of like chocolate sauce, chocolate topping. But if I have to choose again, I might just get the lemon pistachio next time because it's that one that not cover with chocolate. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap for our very first visit here at Graceland. We are having so much fun and it is getting crowded right now. And this place is absolutely epic. It is a heaven for foodie. And there are so many food options here um, from savory to sweet. They even have a dedicated section for the sweet food. And yeah, absolutely amazing, guys. Don't forget to check it out. If you are in Melbourne, visit Graceland. Um, right now they open um, just on the weekend from Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We're gonna put the opening times on the description box below. But the highlight for me is the Argentinian barbecue charcoal. It's amazing and for only 
I believe is the pondok nasi bakar. <laughs> Absolutely epic. And yeah, guys, we hope you guys like this video. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel because it will help our channel to grow. Until then, guys, stay foolish, stay hungry. Bye.